What's up guys? This is Abstract Schnitzel Cook here with another video. Exclamation mark. Today I am going to talk about the Ben 10 reboot. <laughs> Time for you to chill out. So I clearly need to knock some sense into you people because some of the things people are saying about the reboot are either not true or just ridiculous. So I abstract schnitzel, bring you to the Ben 10 reboot that does not suck. Exclamation mark. Shout out to the round table he made a video about his thoughts on the reboot talking about some good and bad things. Instead of only the bad things. In fact, um, please go watch his video first before you continue watching this video. And most of the things that he talked about in, in that video are things that I agree with, so there's only a few things I disagree with. I feel like everybody's trying so hard to prove that the reboot is bad without talking about the good things about it. So without further ado, um, let's well, um, talk about the Ben 10 reboots. So one of the first things that um, people talk about in, about the reboot are the appearance of the, of the characters. And I'm going to talk about the alien appearances later, but right now I'm talking about the characters. So a lot of people are hating on the looks of the characters, and I don't really understand why, because, uh, look at, um, Omniverse. Uh, I'll pull up a picture. This is Ben 10 Omniverse. Look at Ben. Actually, that's not even Cannon Bolt from Omniverse. That's Cannon Bolt from the original series. Let me find a different picture. But yeah, this is Ben. Look at Ben. He looks like nothing like the Ben from... Am I recording? What? Is it? Oh yeah, I'm recording. Okay, so look at Ben. He he looks nothing like um Alien Force and Ultimate Alien like he's supposed to. Like look at Alien Force and Ultimate Alien. Like they look nothing alike. No, he they, he doesn't look anything like um Omniverse. Like look at let's go back to Omniverse. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. They look nothing alike. Well, I mean. They kind of look alike a little bit, but not that much. Um, and I'm not saying Omniverse is bad. Omniverse is actually my favorite Benson series. But I'm trying to make a point. Omniverse was... It lo the, everybody looks weird. And look at Gwen and Kevin. Like, here's Gwen, Kevin, and Grandpa Max. They all weird. They, they, they don't look anything like... I mean, weird. Like, they don't look like they did in... The previous series and so um that makes no sense because um everybody went mental and when omniverse came out about the looks but uh, after like the fifth series people started um getting used to it and every and everyone else that didn't get used to it just didn't watch the show and uh the characters look fine in Omniverse, even though they look weird, it, you get used to it, and you can get used to the reboot better. And if you ask me, in the reboot, uh, the reboot looks even better than Omniverse. Like, just look, here's Omniverse. Here's 11-year-old Ben from Omniverse, and um, let's compare him to 10-year-old Ben from the reboot. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, he definitely looks better than in Omniverse. Here's another ridiculous statement um, about the reboots. So, um, some, some people are saying that the reboot has too much comedy and not enough action. And this is not true at all. This is very false. The show's comedy is not exactly the same as the original series or in Omniverse, but it has good jokes. I mean, some of them are funny. Um, most of them are funny, actually. And it doesn't even have that many jokes. It, it's like, there's like two or three jokes every episode. And there's like, every episode has action in it. Um, so yeah. And um, all of the episodes of the reboot so far, um, there. I've only seen the first 20. I haven't seen the two that came out this Saturday yeah, I'll watch them later because I live in America so I can't see it on TV I have to watch it online um in fact I'll put the link in the description um if you want to watch 
them online if you live in America or a country with um where the reboots aren't played. But um yeah. Um what was I talking about? Uh but yeah. So um yeah, there is more action than comedy. It's there's not more comedy than action. So saying that there's too much comedy and not enough action is completely false. And um uh oh, yeah, you're looking at a bunch of clips of action. So yeah, that pretty much proves your statement wrong. Every episode has more action than comedy. Guys, even with one forearm. The next thing that I'm going to be talking about is people saying that the characters are not explained enough. Or, and not only the characters, but like the things that happen. And what I mean is like some people are saying that when old villains are reintroduced in the reboots, they assume that a bunch of new people are going to be confused. But that's like saying a bunch of viewers of Alien Force, Ultimate Alien, or Omniverse would be confused if it was if that was their first series being that they watched. So, um, I haven't um like I said, I haven't seen all the episodes of the reboot. I've seen most of them. And um I live in America, like I said. But my point is that just because it's a reboot doesn't mean that everything needs to be re-explained because most of the people that watch the reboot are going to be old viewers. So, yeah. Boring my action film! Your film! So, this counter-argument is going to be about Ben and Gwen not fighting. And they do fight, just not in the same way as they did in the original series. And they don't fight as much, but they still do fight. It's like... I mean, Ben has yet to call Gwen a dweeb, and Gwen has yet to call Ben a doofus. But they, and they fight a little bit less, but they still do fight. And they still don't agree with everything. Like, not, not even close. They, they agree with some things, but not everything. And they, um, argue or fight in every episode. But, even if it's just for a few minutes, but, yeah. I'll look at these clips I'm showing you. They, they do fights. Movie. Comedy. Action. Groovy. Uh, this scene's getting slow. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the other bad things in the reboots that I can't really blame people for, um, you know, getting mad about, but I still don't think that the reboot's bad, okay? So, the reboot's not my favorite series. That's Omniverse. Then after Omniverse, Ultimate Alien, and then after Ultimate Alien, Alien Force. But I actually like the reboot better than the original series. Um, and that's just my opinion. I'm not just trying to change your opinion. I'm just trying to make people stop. I mean, in a way, I'm trying to change your opinion about the reboot. But I'm not trying to change your favorite Ben 10 series. But what I'm trying to say is... There's not that much wrong with it. People are complaining about dumb stuff that's not even true. Or... Am I recording? No, oh, I'm not recording. Okay. So people are talking about dumb stuff that's not even true, but... um, Or if they're true, that they happen in other series and nobody complained about that. So I really don't understand why, but, you know... Um, I hope I didn't forget anything. If I did, I'll make another video. Um, um, if I contacted Man of Action for Water Hazard and Overflow asking if they're the same alien. So, I don't know how long they take. I, it was, I actually contacted them a week ago. And by their email, they still haven't replied. So, you know, I don't know if they'll reply. But if they do, I'll make another video. And if I forgot anything, I'll make another video. But, um, the things I'm, I'm about to complain about don't make the reboot a bad show. At first in the series, for the first three episodes, the things that were happening seemed a little rushed. But the characters were, you know, they, they were talking fast. And by the fourth episode, it seemed normal. Also... I was kind of hoping that the reboot was going to have Ben with a new Omnitrix, like 18-year-old Ben, when he gets Master Control, or Ben 10,000, but, you know, 
I'm happy that there's actually a Ben 10 series coming out. Um, or came out. Unless you live in America. Or one of the other countries. But yeah. That's. Oh, and, um, I'm gonna talk about, um, the round table video. So, in the round tables video, he talked about some things. He said it's alright, and that's true. It's not that bad, but, um, about some things that mostly I agree with. So, I'm gonna talk about the things that he said that I don't agree with. So, um, in his video, he said that Grandpa Max was supposed to be, like, supportive of Ben, um, winning, accomplishing his win against Gwen when they were playing video games. And, uh, I don't think he was trying to bring Ben down. He was trying to make Gwen feel better, but in the process made Ben feel a little bit bad. And then, um, when, when they were wrestling, Gwen, uh, I think that's the reason why Gwen let Ben wrestle was because um, she wanted um, the money, you know, because there, there was um, a money win and she did it for the money probably, most likely. So, yeah, I feel like in the original, if it weren't for money or because I don't think she would talk Ben out of it in the original just be because of the money, you know, so, yeah. So hopefully I got myself into your head and changed your mind about the reboot and hopefully more people will watch it. I looked on the ratings and it's at a 2. That's super bad. So let's read it higher. If we can hit, I don't know, at least a 5, I'll be happy. And hopefully you took my voice seriously enough because, um, I don't know. It's, I guess it's because I'm a kid and people won't take kids seriously. I don't mind if you take me as a joke. I'm a kid, and I don't mind that. But if I'm being serious, I want to be taken seriously. So, yeah. Um, and also, I'm not one of those people that, like, that I'm not one of those kids that likes the, all the reboots of Cartoon Network. Like, I don't like the Powerpuff Girls reboot. I don't like Teen Titans Go, you know. I hate that. I hate those two shows. Um, but yeah. Um... I hope you like this video. This video took me so much time to make. I, I spent days on this video. I worked really hard on it, so if you could, please like, share, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy, and yeah.